Hello, everyone. Welcome to today's masterclass. And I would like to thank each and every one of you uh, for joining today's session. My name is Anushka, and I will be your host today. Uh, today's session, which is called Power Up Your 2023 Marketing Strategies with Moj on ShareChat Ads, uh, entails a unique learning experience. And it's uh, going to give you an entire download of all the 2023 striking strategies that you could use to achieve your marketing goals. Um, so we also have our speakers who is Seema Walia and Neil Dodia who will take you through uh, this session today. Um, please stay tuned till the end because we have an exciting ad credits offer that we would like to present to you. And we have the much awaited and popular Share Chat and Moj Bharat quiz. Uh, so please stay tuned to the end to stand a chance to win some very exciting prizes. Um, a little housekeeping as usual before we get our session started. Uh, please feel free to put in your question and answers in the box below on the control panel at, on Zoom so that we can address it uh, towards the third section of our masterclass. And uh, without much ado, I think I will pass on the baton to Seema who will uh, you know, kickstart this session for you. Over to you, Seema. Thank you so much, Anushka. Uh, you know, and thank you for the lovely uh, uh, context setting. Uh, welcome each one of you. Uh, you know, some of you will be the first time you will be the first time you will be the session repeat. So for the benefit of everyone, what we will do is, you know, for the first seven or eight slides, we will uh, tell you a little bit more about the platform and then we will get into the nitty gritties of marketing strategies, uh, you know, and how you can actually uh, empower your campaigns more uh, by employing those strategies. That part of session would be taken over by my colleague Neil while I would be quickly setting up the context with platform introduction to you. So uh, topics that I would cover are share chat and launch who we are as a platform and, and why we are here. Uh, I would also talk about, uh, you know, brand measurement. I'll talk about ad credit software and remaining topics would be done by Neil. So uh, this is going to be a very interesting session. This is, uh, we are almost on the end of first month of this uh, new year, 2023. Uh, let's start and let's roll on with the presentation. Uh, so who are we? ShareChat and Moj. Uh, if you look at it, you know, uh, we launched in 2015 as a platform. And as a name suggests, you know, we uh, two intents or two, uh, two missions of the platform were very clear. One was sharing the content. Uh, and second was, you know, chatting with people around us in, within our circle, you know, or our expanded circle, chatting with our folks in uh, vernacular language or the language of our choice. Uh, today we are about, uh, we say that we are third largest media network uh, today. Uh, we have about, uh, you know, 180 million uh, uh, mouths in uh, uh, share chat and about 160 on March. Together, this number is about 340 million. If I talk about unduplicated numbers, they're about 325 million, uh, which makes us the third largest. And in fact, the largest one in the vernacular, uh, vernacular space. Out of this 325, to dissect the number further for you, about 100 million would be the completely untapped uh, users that we can offer you. Uh, Okay, uh, share chat is your window to Bharat. I'm very truly said because when I say that, you know, I have about 180 million, uh, uh, you know, uh, MAUs for you. Uh, and I can quickly, you know, actually dissect the numbers for you out of 180 million, my almost 80 million are coming in from South, which means, uh, you know, you can actually gauge it from this number that I am talking of an extremely strong vernacular presence. Uh, about 42 to 45 odd come in from north, then come from west and remaining from the east. Uh, we have about 46,000 uh, shares happening every minute, uh, which would actually say about 770 shares per second. Why do you uh, uh, think, you know, this number is extremely high for my platform is because of the uh, WhatsApp deep linking that my platform offers today. 
if you were to actually check your mobile, each one of you were to open up your WhatsApp and check it, um, I think out of 10 messages that you would be getting on any of your group, nine would be ideally coming in from share chat on watch. That is because deep linking actually allows me to share the content as a content and not simply as a URL. That actually explains the virality that we have on the shares every day. Uh, not to, not very surprising. I have a minimum 30 minutes, 31 minutes of retention on the app per, per day basis. Uh, let's move forward and talk about mods. Mods again. I have about 161 million MAUs. Very interesting uh, fact about you know mods is that if you look at it out of 160 million, almost 85 percent are the Gen Z and millennials. You know, so if you are a brand, you know who is actually out there wanting to target the real buyers or the ones who are influencing those buyers. Moj is the platform for you. So imagine 85% as high a figure coming in from your Gen Zs. Uh, we have a very high number of uh, monetizable creators on Moj, which is more than 700K. Um, and everybody knows to become a monetizable creator, you need to have anything between 10 to 30K kind of followers and a very valid content uh, you know, library of your own. And that is how you become eligible. Uh, eligible uh, retention time on Moj is at least uh, you know 34 minutes uh, per day. It's a very specific T1, T2, you know, tier one, tier two kind of an audience which you can target. So tier one, tier two audience, uh, very young audience, and it's all about Gen Zs and millennials. Can we move ahead? So who is the share chat audience? If I were to actually get into the uh, you know uh, the demographics of it, about uh, you know my tier one share, if you look at it, would be about twelve point five percent. My tier two would be thirty two point five percent. If I were to talk about in terms of share million uh, numbers, you know almost more than eighty million plus MAUs are coming in from tier one tier two markets. So any marketer today, you know, who's planning and who's worth the salt would understand that how important are the three markets, you know, it's like tier one market, tier two and tier three market. And then a very important fact is tier two and tier three pockets within the tier one share, you know, so we are covering exactly all the, uh, all the tiers which are relevant for your uh, audience top you can take talk of top eight metro cities or you can talk of uh, 100 urban cities or semi-urban rural cities. Uh, share chat and watch have a robust presence in each of the tiers today. Uh, let's look at the Moj audience. Like I said, Moj audience is almost 85% of them are Gen Zs and millennials. Uh, about 70, 30 is the female ratio. And if you were to look at about 30% uh, of the female ratio might look a little less when I look at these numbers. But if you were to actually get into, uh, you know, the figures of it. So imagine 160 million uh, were the MAUs on Moj. If I were to take 30% of 160 million, it would come to somewhere about 48 million. Similarly, on share chart also, if we were to look at the uh, male and female audience, uh, it would be about, uh, you know, so one out of 180 million, about 36% would be female, which would bring it to about 65 million. So I'm so it your brand could be targeting, you know, pure female, or it could be a combination of male and female, whatever the scenario, we would have the platform very adaptable and compatible with your brands. Uh, let's move forward. And uh, okay, so before I just hand it over to Bernie for further intro, further, uh, you know, the marketing uh, strategy details. One quick uh, fun fact is that, you know, uh, today on the platform, you know, and especially when I'm talking of a self-serve portal, we have category, we have very diversified categories who are doing winning campaigns with us. Out of these categories, you know, we can talk of uh, hyper casual gaming. We are talking of casual gaming. We are talking of dating apps. We are talking of BFSI. 
uh, we are talking personal care, we are talking uh, e-com clients. It, it's a it's a huge portfolio. So you could be in any of these brackets, and you would find case studies, winning case studies on uh, sales of platform today. Uh, it could be an ad tech for that matter. So if you are any of these category clients, please feel free to approach us and we, we can actually share the winning case studies with you on this. Uh, uh, with this, Neil, I hand over to you uh, to talk about the marketing strategies. Thank you. Thank you, Seema, for that. Um, very warm welcome from my side. I'm Neil Dodia. I look, in, look into the B2B marketing of ShareChat and Moj. Very warm welcome to all of you. Okay, so we are going to talk today about Young India and short form videos. Both are supremely important. Uh, I would say that both have grown together, right? Uh, short form video is still a younger uh, compared to what Young India is. Uh, so Young India is born in the era of internet and short form video has born where the internet has boomed, right? And how? So without wasting any further time, let me get into this. So when I say young, young India, what do I really mean? Young India means Gen Z plus millennials. These are the people uh, probably my age, younger than me, much, much younger to me as well, who have grew and one very important aspect uh, has always been around to them and that is the internet. They have grown with the internet access, all right? Maybe it started when they had computers followed by laptops and now everyone has smartphones. They might've started from 3G, moved to 4G, and now we are moving to an era of 5G internet, which is gonna be super high speed internet all right and what this enables this enables people to really browse much more content than what they used to do earlier i remember the time before geo was uh, born in india where data consumption was limited because the data itself was very expensive and thanks to geo uh, now the data has become affordable in general pan india and because of that there is a remarkable increase in the content consumption that Young India is doing. One very noble cause or uh, something which, which, which where internet helped the most, I believe, would be when the pandemic hit us. Uh, as you know, physical schools, colleges, everything was shut. But thanks to affordable internet and thanks to affordable smartphone, people and kids especially uh, were able to attend their classes online and they were able to stay knowledge, stay educated throughout this, right? So, and talking about education, young India is, is the one who's making career decisions. They get influenced as to what's happening in the internet and they decide what they want to study. Uh, higher education and skill development and in fact, also upskilling has grown a leaps and bounds because of the internet. And Young India understands the importance of skill development, right? They want to acquire skills via the internet, via studying online, preferably as well, and acquire skills that will help them. And hence, what I'm trying to say is that this, this Young India becomes a very, very crucial part of for any brands to reach out to because they are the ones who have access to the internet, uh, when it comes to education also it's very very important from there so we are talking to a very mature audience when it comes to share chat and moj i'm going to specifically talk about moj today and short form videos and i'll move on to the next slide so like i said why are we discussing only short form video while we're discussing that is because it's really really important in terms of content consumptions if i had to break it down into four categories we have short form videos which are your, nothing but your vertical vertical videos that you will see on Moj. Then you have carousal posts and videos, which would be square, and you can, you can swipe them. And then you have static posts. Static posts are images, JPEGs, etc. And then you have long form of videos. These videos would, would go anywhere from two minutes, three minutes, to even above an hour. Now, the thing is that 34% and to be accurate, 33.8% of this content pie is taken over by short form video. The question is, why is this so large? Why is it so huge? And the answer actually lies in the amount of content. You make a note of this number because we're going to play a Bharat quiz after this and these, these numbers might help you win some exciting gifts. So try to digest this number, but 30 lakh videos are uploaded every single day on Moj. 
30 lakh videos are uploaded. So there's so much content, so much fresh content, so much new content, which is going out there on Moj. And this content is consumed happily by the young India. Like Seema uh, said that uh, users on Moj are spending on an average of 34 minutes. And one more striking number, one more very, very important number is 600 video plays happen on a daily basis on Moj. So while 30 lakh new videos are created on a daily basis, 600 crores videos are viewed on a daily basis by the young India of uh, on Moj. Right. So what is young India doing on Moj? And we will look into how the internet has powered the entire short form video format. So to start with, first thing that we really, really need to understand is the importance of your smartphones. Uh, we, if I look at the chart over here in 2022, this is where we are right now. We are closing to 93 crores smartphones. And next year, we are talking about crossing 1000 crore smartphone users, sorry, 100 crores smartphone users, pan India. What basically means is that 75% of India's population is going to have access to smartphones. And I'm talking about not mobile phone access, I'm talking about smartphone access. So along with smartphones, you get apps, along with smartphones, you get internet, along with smartphone, you get 4G and 5G. And that is not just your normal internet, but fast internet. Now, where Moz and ShareChat really comes into the picture over here is because the smart the, the the people of india might may or may not know english people of bharat will have many many languages they, we speak very many many different languages and that's where moj and share chat will have a front foot because we are amongst the very few apps which are available in their mother tongue right so people can like to consume content in 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 the language which they speak and this is where moj and share chat plays a very very vital role now, let's talk about short format videos in general. How have they grown? So back in 2020, we had around 200, 210 million uh, users. And right now, we are talking about, by 2025, we will have around 600 million users uh, who will be using uh, short form videos. So the kind of growth that we are talking about is going to be massive. And the best part is that if you create content today, users will be consuming it for many, many years to come. And unlike long form videos and unlike anything else, to start creating content on short form videos is much, much, much easier. All you need is a cell phone to get started with. And all you need is cell phone, maybe some good script, some storytelling, and you can get started with that. If you want to enhance your videos, you can obviously use artificial lights, natural lights. You can also use mic, et cetera, et cetera. But this is how, all you need is one smartphone and the internet to get started. Now let's talk about mods over here. What is the mods growth, mods growth over here? So we are talking about 30 million users when we started way back in 2020. We have grown 6x and currently we are sitting at 200 million mods users. So this is the kind of phenomenal growth that we have seen for our platform Moj. Now, what is this young India really consuming on Moj? What, what kind of short form videos are they really, really consuming? And some very insightful data over here. So we look at 38% of them come to Moj to check out latest trends. Uh, that latest trends can be in terms of fashion, that latest trends can be in terms of cooking. Uh, we have seen trends on, on, on dance moves, on fashions, and so many, so much more. So they generally go on Moj and other short form video uh, apps to find out what the latest trends are. Followed by 20, 21, 21 percent of them because they enjoy short and informative content, and the sixteen percent of them consume because they have less time. For example, let's say you will see a lot of people while traveling. Let's say I have a train to catch or I have a bus to catch in the next two minutes. I have those two minutes. The easiest and the best, best platform to enter would be short form uh, video platform like Moj, where you know you can easily spend those two minutes watching some video. And these are not just some random videos. Moj works very well with the algorithm, which the kind of videos that you would want to watch, and they show you that kind of content. So let's say uh, if you are into dancing, that they will show you videos related to dance. Uh, 
uh, if you like something in the humor category, they would show you something in the human category, uh, humor category. And this is how the algorithm works, which makes a content consumption not uh, just like a thing, but it, it, it's also content which you really want to watch. And the last 11%, which I believe the category is going to grow immensely in future, is your well, people come to watch their favorite creators and influencers. Creators and influencers is something on social media which has been growing rapidly since last two, three years, and it's going to grow further. Uh, these creators are very well recognized, are very well followed because of the content that they particularly create, and users can really connect to them. Uh, for example, I, I particularly follow creators in the space of finance, in space of cooking, I would follow a stand-up comedian. The reason why I follow them is because I enjoy the content that the kind of content that they create. And I look forward for their, their video. You know, every I, I mean, every time there's a video that comes up, I, I really always go and watch it. Not just there, like Seema mentioned, that you can share. You can share via WhatsApp, you can share via uh, Moj itself. And this is something that really, really helps you grow. Now, one thing that I want to talk about over here is creating followers has is, is always seen very important on social media well the short form video does not require to do for you to do that and i'll come to it why i'm saying this in the future slide so there's something known as aaj main kya dekhu? what should i watch now and there is always a question mark uh, there has been times where i'm sure this must have happened to you you switch on your tv and you don't know what to watch you you go to an, your favorite OTT platform and you're really not sure what to watch. You might end up start you might start watching something, but halfway uh, through the first episode, you you realize that this is not something that you would enjoy, and you stop over there. And that's what creates a high fatigue value, where people start getting tired and they are not able to decide what they want to watch. While on Moj, that does not happen because of the algorithm. Moj understands what kind of content that you want to watch. And the moment you start, it starts grabbing attention from the very first second. If you will see a lot of videos start with results, right? So for example, uh, it, it will always look at uh, the video that content creators will create, will always talk about what the outcome would be. For example, um, how to make something of your yesterday's dinner, how to make a healthy meal, how to create a healthy chart, right? They start with that. So they kind of show you a result oriented video and that grabs your attention. And that is why this kind does no fatigue to it. And every time you swipe up, a new video comes up, which will talk about a whole new storytelling and which will kind of enhance your experience once again. So this is something which is very, very unique to Moj, where users have low fatigue in it. They have a lot of options to watch. Whether they follow a specific brand or a creator doesn't matter. Uh, Moj will always, the algorithm will always show them content which might be of their interest. And as in when they engage, the algorithm understands the users better. Right At the same time, what we have realized that 68% of the users have increased their consumptions for short form videos compared to the long form. And one very, very important reason for that is also the fact that now, um, thankfully, the pandemic is, is kind of over. And because of that, offices have started again. We do not have the same amount of time that we used to have when, when the pandemic was there, right? We do not have the time to watch a lot of TV. We are always on the go. And that problem so is getting solved by March. You open the mobile app, uh, open the uh, uh, Moj app, look at a few videos where you want to kill your five minutes, three minutes. In fact, it's something where you can also gain a lot of things. Uh, for example, I follow certain finance influencers who talk about ta tax planning, who talks about uh, home loans, vehicle loans, how you should take them, what are the formulas, you know, very, very simple method, right? And that really adds value. And there's something that I learned from there. So exactly. So in those few minutes is something that Moj can give you, enhance you because it only takes one second for short form videos to, to grab your attention. Yes. Now the thing is that how can you reach young India? And before that, I will just talk about, uh, about creating content on, on Moj or any short video format for that matter. 
whenever you're creating content, ads comes second because that's where you want to amplify your content. When, when you're creating content, keep in mind to keep it as engaging as possible, to try a lot of posts, try a lot of things. Uh, creating content on Moj is free. In fact, we have a great lenses that you can also try. See how you, you, you uh, create different varieties of posts for your brand and see which one works and which one don't work. And the ones that work the best, you should go ahead and advertise them. That's the, that's the kind of approach that you should be taking that will help you to amplify, to reach out and to give you maximum results. Now, the best thing about ads, and we have one form of ad, which is called in-feed video format. The best thing about these ads is that you get the entire real estate. Uh, for example, on my left, you can see a mobile screen and just you will see a Zomato ad. Currently, you're seeing a Zomato ad. As you can see, your entire mobile screen is covered by your ad. Imagine it's as good as doing a full page newspaper ad or, or a full page magazine ad where you get a complete real estate and the person is not doing anything but watching your ad right now. The idea over here is to grab attention in the first second. In the very first second, if you're able to grab attention, and there are many ways to do that, uh, you will get higher number of clicks, higher number of engagement, etc. So why are these in-feed ads very, very important? Because one is that it, it really helps engage users. Uh, you will see a lot number of likes, comments, not just likes, comments. Obviously, you will see a lot of clicks, but you will see if your content is really good, you will see a lot of shares also. Shares via WhatsApp, which, which in itself is a very big deal, right? Um, the recall value, because it's, it's not static, it is video, because it's full screen, the recall value is much, much high on that. And also last but not the least, like I spoke about, the number of shares that you will see is much, much higher on ShareChat. So these are things that you need to keep in mind when you're creating short form videos. Uh, my strong advice to all of y'all would be to please go ahead, try experimenting with videos, create content and see how well it feeds on. See how well it feeds in. Uh, it will reach out to more and more number of people. And there's a virality factor also. Not to forget, use audio for, uh, for your videos. Try to enhance your video experience as much as possible. And as you keep creating videos, as you keep uploading more and more videos, you will see that you're getting better at it, right? And that's, that's, that's some of our phenomenal brands are using. Uh, that's, that's the way that some of, some of our brands are using Moz. And they have been very, very successful when it comes to their ad campaigns. Okay, I am going to pass it back to Seema to talk about brand safety and measurement. Thank you, Neil. Thank you so much, Seema. Hi, uh, Anushka, if you could take us to the next slide. Yes. Neil, can you stop, please? Yes. Okay, so by the time, you know, Anushka actually takes us to the brand safety slide, let's just talk about, you know, why does a platform like ShareChat or a Moj needs these, uh, you know, brand safety measurement tools in place and you'll understand so let's let's go back to my second slide you know wherein i told you that we have about 770k shares which are happening per second or you know 46k shares happening per minute so you know what is happening is you we have amazing tools on our platform for example you know we have snap lenses or we have 130k songs in our music library this lot this lot that is available to our users you know and uh, to top it all, you know, the WhatsApp uh, deep linking, which I mentioned, you know, wherein you can actually share the content as content. What is happening is all this is actually giving a trigger to a lot of, uh, you know, user generated content being shared on the platform. So what happens is, you know, to actually create a very safe environment for the audience or the user on my app, we have very uh, you know, we have uh, strong brand safety and measurement uh, rules in place. And uh, we have, uh, you know, like uh, all the internet players. So we also have very strong uh, NSFW uh, scores in place. Now, what is NSFW is, if I were to give you a full form, it is not safe for work viewing. So any content which you can't watch at your work, is actually graded, you know, from a zero to 
one one being the NSFW. So we do this. Our, we have two ways of uh, scanning all the content which is going on our platforms. One is our own AI ML technology, which reviews each video and gives it a score from, for example, a zero to one score, one being not safe for work. Any video which is above 0 0.5 are further sent for the manual reviewing. We have a, you know, we have a 2000 member strong quality control team, you know, a team whose only task is to uh, watch and review each content that is going on the platform. They review these videos manually and only then release it or ban it from consumption. Uh, no ants which are in the vicinity of 0 0.5 or below are uh, ever broadcasted, thus ensuring a maximum level of uh, safety and any content which is not qualified under the campaign guidelines can also be taken down into 24 hours, thus creating a very safe heaven for an audience for the content consumption. Uh, all right, Anushka, if you could take it. Uh, so this is, Anushka, I, I believe this is almost our last slide. Uh, we have taken you through the product, uh, share chat, we have told you about uh, how Moj works, what are the numbers. Uh, we also today shared about, you know, how you can actually employ our best marketing strategies as part of your campaigns and empower them more on a platform. Uh, we spoke about the uh, demographic, the NCCS split. We spoke about the male-female, uh, you know, uh, ratio or the breakup on both the apps. In case you are looking for any further details, you know, and let's say you have missed any of the pointers or you would want us to take you through the presentation again, there would be an email ID which would be shared uh, in the last slide of the presentation. Anushka would be doing it in a while. Uh, we request you to, you know, write a mail on, uh, write uh, email on, email us on that email ID, and we will ensure that, you know, we have a back end team, a sales team, and an ops team. We will quickly take you through the presentation. We would also give you a very handhold guided tour on what works on our platform, what are the best practices, what are the safety measures, and on. And we would help you in establishing a very safe and a successful campaign on a platform. Also, you know, as part of our, uh, so we always feel that, you know, people who are coming on us for the first time, we, they, are, they are like a guest, new members in the family. And what happens is the minute you become, uh, you know, you onboard on a platform or onboard on share chat on a mod, you would be getting 500 rupees worth credit directly, uh, you know, in your wallet. Uh, now, with that money, you know, what you can do with that 500 rupees is once you go on to the step two, which is recharging your wallet, you know, you get additional ad credits and creative credits from us. You can do it for the first three wallet loads. All you have to do is you have to go on to share chat business uh, platform page. On board us, there would be a terms and condition page. You would be clearly, it is a very transparent and we call out each condition there are there are no hidden uh, points in that each point would call out as to how you become eligible and to what level you become eligible for creative support from our end um, and then we also have ad credits for you all you have to do is you have to you can see this barcode on the screen which uh, Anushka has put up you have to scan the barcode and it would uh, you know seamlessly take you to our onboarding page uh, so quickly, we give you 500 rupees as a welcome credit in your wallet. We give you 100% wallet amount as a, uh, you know, uh, match. We, there are redeem, you can actually redeem your creative credit points. Uh, there is an upper limit to the offer. Uh, and uh, what we are actually offering you is a beautifully driven, uh, successful, safe campaign with a high ROI on our platforms. Uh, please feel free to connect with me, uh, you know, for any further details that you would need. We have a backend team who can connect with you immediately, share some win, winning case studies concerning your categories. Uh, we can take you to the presentation and we'll help you on board as our partners. Thank you so much.
Uh, that's the email ID that I was mentioning about, self-serve at sharechat.co. Uh, Anushka, we can open up the house for question answers. Yes, Seema. Thanks, Seema. And thank you, Neil, for taking us through such an insightful session. Uh, um, uh, for everyone who's attending the session today, you could please feel free to you know, send in your queries at self-serve at sharechat.co. Uh, we'd reach out to you as soon as we receive a query from you. Uh, moving on, we would uh, quickly go uh, and start with our Q&A panel. Um, we've received a bunch of great questions, so I'm going to start off. Uh, almost uh, do we again. have Radhika with us for this? Uh, yes, I'm just checking uh, with Radhika. I think we have not, we don't have her in the attendees or panelists right now. Okay. Let's uh, go. So Radhika is our product expert, guys. And uh, we were hoping she could join as well. So in case you all have any product related questions, please feel free to send them over here and we'd still address them. Yeah, thanks. Uh, so I'll start off with my first question. Uh, do we have custom CTAs like the Zomato example, uh, like an order every day? Do we have custom CTAs on our platforms as well? Uh, yes, in certain formats, we can do that. And uh... If you could just share your email ID with me, uh, Anushka, if you could share their details with me, we'll connect with them for further details. How can we uh, campaign for an ad installation? It's a very simple process. Please onboard via self-serve business page. Set up a campaign using our best creative practices. Uh, we have our onboarding team at the back end to handhold you through this. There would be certain KPIs which would be set up. Uh, you would have to actually call out your KPIs in the beginning. Uh, teams would sync up with those and then the campaign would be set up for the installs. Why is it that in tier two and two tier three cities, uh, the female ratio is still low uh, and the Gen Zs don't hold on? So this is, I think, a more general question. So, I mean, either of you all could take it up. Uh, I didn't get the second part of the question where you said that Gen Z's don't hold on. But uh, see, like I said, you know, and that was actually the reason while I was talking about the male-female ratio, I actually got into the percentage dissection, you know, because if I were to just call out saying that on watch my male-female ratio is 70-30, 30 looks very less as a number. But if you look at it in totality, I'm saying 30% of the 100 and 60 million MAUs that I have, which still makes it about 48 million. You know, it's it's no less number, about 48 million on March and similarly about uh, 65 million, which is about 36% of 180 on share chat. So the number, the female ratio is nowhere less on the platform. Uh, overall, if you look at the ecosystem, that is how the percentage works on each of the platform today. And it is not only for tier two or tier three market, it holds true for every tier market today. Uh, Gen Z and millennial, I'm sorry, I didn't get it. But what I can say is, you know, so let's talk more about Gen Z's and millennials, you know, for a second. And let's understand why is this category very important for any marketer today? You know, it could be, uh, it, it's share chat and watch. It is your, you know, it could be an e-com platform or an ad tech or somebody like a, Amazon or a Netflix, you know, or anybody who's into BFSI or automobile or automobile accessories, it could be anything. Why is this Gen Z and millennial so important for me today is for two reasons primarily. One, either they are your direct users, you know, which makes them very important for you. And second, even more important factor is that this is the category, you know, in our in our offices, in our families, in our friend circle, who are the more who actually influence 90% of the buying decisions today. You know, what car I'll buy today would be heavily influenced by what my daughter tells me, you know, or my son tells me, or or a or a 23-year-old in my office is going to tell me. So that is the reason that Gen Z and millennials become extremely important for me today. And and that particular category is being beautifully catered by Modge as a platform today. I hope I have answered your question. If not, 
please feel free to connect with us on the mail id great thanks seema uh, we have another question from fazi zama um, can we identify or target an audience through their income levels on our platform yes we can there are several levels of targeting available uh, once you connect with us and we connect you to our back end team they would like i said before you before the campaign starts there would be a complete hand holding actually you don't even need hand holding it is so beautifully gamified you know that entire onboarding uh, process on the platform is very seamless you don't need my help but what we have actually done as an additional measure is that you know we have a team at the back end to actually hand hold you to the process in case you need it you know and we have experts for every field for example we have neel support on you know in case you need something learn to you want to learn more about the marketing strategies we have radhika and her team you know who would actually guide you through the entire product thing we have another team called customer support which would hand hold you through the entire onboarding process and this is all at the back end you know and again i'm saying and i'm reiterating that 85 90% the process is so smooth simple and seamless that you would not need any of this while onboarding superb uh, now that we have radhika uh, as a panelist on our q and a uh, session uh, i'd like to ask a question uh, which is i think product related from my understanding how does the tracking work uh, do you have your own pixel similar to meta uh, so that's a question we've received right uh, thanks a lot for the question and uh, yes so for both types of advertisers or both types of conversions be it app based or web based uh we do have functionalities to pass back post back events to us and to uh, track you know your cost per event that you've been able to achieve for web based clients and for web based conversions we have a share chat pixel very similar to the facebook pixel as well and uh, you just have to you know install the code snippet on your website and we also have the ability to add custom tags for each of the events or each of the buttons that you want to track on your website via the share chat pixel and for app based clients we have partnerships with the top mmps uh, across the industry uh, like uh, apps flyer branch kochava adjust etc so yes for both types of functionalities we support passing back of post back events and we also have a dashboard that clearly uh, you know attributes each of those events at a creative at a campaign and you know at a time duration level as well thanks radhika um we've got another question we've seen more top of the funnel campaigns perform better on share chat as opposed to conversion campaigns uh is this a common trend in the bfi sci uh, category as well uh right so that's a very pertinent question to be frank and you know given the market dynamic given the kind of audiences we have i believe we should all try to be a little more empathetic towards the kind of you know propensity to spend or propensity to subscribe to newer products that our audience may have uh bfsi and you know uh, other such uh, non uh, like other such uh, sort of uh, serious sectors in the industry require some level of basic sophistication and basic uh, you know qualifications of the audience end as well uh, of course with all of uh, you know the unfortunate scams that are going on in the industry people are all the more apprehensive to shell out personal details to shell out sensitive details on our apps so that is why it is natural that you may observe some level of restrained responses restrained interest uh, for these type of categories from our audiences and of course you know top of the funnel is something that that is very uh, non intrusive for our advertisers they are more than happy to spend good amounts of time on your website to scroll through it to explore what kind of products you have to offer so definitely we would uh, we this is something that we would observe and i believe this is not just you know specific to share chat or merge this is across the industry or, uh, and across the ads domain to be very frank uh, further just to keep you posted that in order to solve this particular problem itself we are working towards you know more sophisticated lead generation formats wherein we can pass on the details of interested clients to you whom you can follow up with so that definitely should improve you uh, to to should help you improve the roi that you are able to observe via our platform and uh, yes we we hope that we can uh, you know uh, roll that feature out soon enough for you to explore great thank you uh, we have another question from mark fulgado um, can you talk about the tracking pixel as well as optimizing 
targeting based on purchase events right uh, so we uh, thanks uh, we have uh, you know dedicated business models that will uh, help you optimize towards deeper funnel events and one such event as you mentioned is the purchase event uh, we have you know target cost for these actions as well and we also have lowest cost bidding models wherein you can experiment around what is a cost threshold that you're okay with per purchase event and in our share chart pixel as well we have a dedicated uh, event or a quote snippet for purchase type events uh, we're more than happy for you to reach out to us via email uh, someone from Seema's team from my team or from our clients uh, solutions team would you know help you install the pixel as well and ensure that the purchase event is firing properly we can then get started with dedicated business models for a particular campaign and we can observe what is the best suited business model for your kind of product for your kind of service that is getting offered and yeah we're more than happy to take it forward we have quite a few clients actually running purchase campaigns with us on our platform today so we'll be more than happy to support that yeah amazing um i think this would be our last question uh, for this afternoon um for how long should i run my campaign for testing the performance what's the minimum budget uh, you'd suggest to start <clears throat> with a d2c apparel brand okay that's that's a very brilliant question again uh, thanks again for showing so much interest and for uh, shelling out so many details with us uh, this is a very informed question so we're always happy to receive such queries um right so in terms of you know what is the minimum viable budget and what are the settings that your particular product or campaign should have we would definitely suggest somewhere uh north of you know five thousand rupees on a, at a daily level that should be a budget that you should start with when it comes to the learning phase of any particular campaign more than the duration it is the kind of traction that the campaign observes right so if you, you if you go onto our platform you'll observe that we already have recommendations around the kind of bids that you should add so you know with any budget say north of five thousand rupees on a daily basis if you try to observe uh, if you try to set a healthy bid as per our recommendations engine uh, uh, that should one provide greater scale and thus greater engagement or traction with our audiences um now in terms of the number of events we generally try to you know at least have uh north of 1500 uh somewhere between 1500 to 2000 clicks for a particular campaign for our systems to be able to learn sufficiently and further to be able to provide good performance so yes uh however much time that takes you know if you have a healthy enough bid we are pretty sure that you would be able to reach that scale scale much quickly even before you know uh the week ends so yeah with a healthy bid with a healthy budget if we are able to uh land somewhere between 1500 to 2000 odd clicks for a campaign that is sufficient learning for our algorithms to further keep optimizing towards the goal thank you radhika uh thanks seema and um i think with this we'll end our q a session um we've got quite a few questions though that are unanswered so i'd uh, you know pass them all to you so that we can reach out to our uh, folks who've got these questions and we reach out to them with proper answers um However, we would now jump to the next section of our uh, masterclass session, which is the masterclass, uh, I mean, the Share Chat and Moj Bharat quiz. So, um, Neil, over to you. Yeah, thank you. Thank you, Bharat. All right, thank you for, I hope you are able to see my screen. Thank you for all the questions. Uh, they were really, really insightful and we hope that we were able to answer them. Okay, so now we jump on to the fun part, which is the Bharat quiz. This is something that we have been doing since last few of our master classes, and we plan to do it in future of all our master classes. So do join in. We do it every month. Uh, so these master classes will help you to kind of get better with your ad campaigns on ShareChat and Moj. So I'll very quickly tell you how to go about this uh, ShareChat Bharat quiz. Uh, it's very simple. All you have to do is in the next screen, I will be giving you a QR code, which you need to scan. And also Anushka will be passing on a link. You can either click on that link and register yourself, or you can do it via the QR code. Before that, there's one important information that I want to give for the, uh, we are, we will be taking your feedbacks for this particular masterclass. At the end of the masterclass, uh, Anushka will pass on a link on your chat box. Please do take 30 seconds to fill that up. Uh, that will help us to understand your requirements and improve further with our masterclasses. 
All right. So without further ado, my next screen will have the QR code. Please scan the QR code. Anushka, I request you to share the link via the chat as well. So the users who, who would not wish to scan the QR code can just quickly register via the link as well. We have 50 uh, positions open. So uh, it's on first come first uh, so basis. So please try to join in as soon as possible. I can already see 26 spots already taken. Uh, once you register, once you are on the screen, please do not let your phone go on the screen board because we have seen users get uh, logged out because of that. So I would uh, strongly suggest you to stay logged in. Keep tapping your phone. Don't let it uh, run in the sleep mode. Okay, we have 35 people in now. I will wait for a few more seconds, maybe 30 seconds, and then we can go on. Yes, uh, until then, I'll give you a quick brief about what this, uh, this quiz is going to be about. Uh, we are majorly covering two things. One is uh, about the short form video that uh, the master class was all about. So we'll be asking you certain questions on those lines and certain questions about um, Parat, right? And we have a theme of Republic Day as it just went by. So we will, uh, we will be judging your skills on these two things. Okay, we have 44 people. Can we have six more people or should I just start? Let's wait for a few more seconds. All right, okay, let's get started. Uh, very quickly, what's gonna happen is you will see a question on the screen, okay? And you will see options. You need to tap on the correct option. It's not just the correct option, but also how fast you tap in. Every time you, the fastest and the most right answers get the maximum points. At the end of it, we will have, uh, two folks who will win some goodies. So we're going to gratify two of the top winners. So I wish you all the best and we get started here. This is your first question. We have 35 players approximately, oh, 44 players approximately. And your questions will appear on your screen. You will get approximately 12 seconds to answer, but I would strongly suggest you to take less than 12 seconds to answer that question. Okay, here I start the quiz. And I'm going to read out. So we're going to have six questions. The first question is, by the year 2024, Bharat is expected to have 1 billion smartphone users. This one is easy, just true or false. Whether it's true or whether it's false. Yes, the answer is absolutely true. 28 of y'all gave it a right answer. And we see where the what does the point table look like all right we have harsh followed by ajay and sagar you now you guys must have got how to play this it's very very simple so uh to all those people who are playing this please try to answer it as soon as possible in order to gain the maximum number of points we jump to the second question and the second question goes like this moj has more than dash crore users how many users does Moj have? 10 crore, 20 crore, 15 crore, or 18 crore? Moj has more than dash crore users. Three, two, and one times up. Yes, the answer is it has more than 20 crore users. Let's see who, okay, Harsh and Vijay. Okay, we have Harsh and Suril who are leading this. Let's go to the next question. This is your third question. Who was the first president of India? Like I told you that we're going to have a mixed batch of questions. And this one's from the bag. Um, who was the first president of India? K.R. Narayan, Zakir Hussain, or Dr. Rajendra Prasad? Who was the first president of India? And wow, 36 of you all got it correct. Yes, it was Dr. Rajendra Prasad. We see the point table. Excellent. Excellent. Harsh, you're leading this. You've got all three of them right. I can see Suril and Surinavas. All the best to all of you all. Okay, jumping to the fourth question. Gen Z plus millennials make dash percentage of Moj audience. What percentage of Moj audience? Does it make 60, uh, sorry, 50, 65, and 85? These three are your options. The correct answer is 85. And let's look at the point table. Okay, Harsh, we are still leading it. Ajay, welcome back. You are amongst the top two. Uh, remember, two, two, top two of us get gratified. 
Okay, uh, there's a question which will have a visual hint also. So I would urge you all to look at the screen as well. Uh, it will appear on your screen as well as my screen. So do look at the question and the visual. Not in this question, it's in the last question. I think second last, it's in this one only. Okay, here we go. This is your second last question. The Indian Dash Day is celebrated on 8th of October every year. This is the symbol of that particular uh, force. So is it Air Force, Navy Day, or Army Day? Is it Air Force Day, Navy Day, or Army Day, or none of the above? Yes, it's the Air Force Day. And if we look at the leaderboard now, oh, things have changed. Things have changed. So real welcome to the vlog. Wow. What a change, right? Okay, this is the last question now. And a close competition. Let's see who wins. Here goes the last question. On an average, how many videos are uploaded on Moj every day? How many videos are uploaded on Moj every day? 20 lakhs, 25 lakhs, 30 lakhs, or 40 lakhs. Um, in fact, I gave somewhere a hint that I'm going to give you those numbers. So let's see how many of you all remember this. Yes, it's 30 lakhs. 30 lakh videos are uploaded on Moj every day with 600 crore video plays that happens on Moj every single day. The winners are Suril. Oh, sorry. The winners are Rajat and Suril. So Rajat, your first followed by Suri. I wish you a congratulations. Um, do drop in. Uh, I'm, I'm sure you must have filled up the form. So you're registered. We will get in touch with you. Thank you so much for playing this quiz. Okay. Um, I hope you enjoyed the masterclass. I hope it's been informative. It helps you with your campaigns. Do go out there, create your campaigns on Moj. And we are always there for, if you need any help, any support from our side. One final request. One final request is that Anushka will be sharing the feedback link with you right on the chat right now. Please do take 30 seconds. It won't take more than 30 seconds for you all to fill this up. Please click on that and uh, fill it up. And I look forward to seeing you in the next masterclass. Thank you, Neil. Thank you, Seema. And thank you to our lovely audience for the best questions and the best participation in the quiz. Looking forward to the next masterclass session. Thanks, guys. Signing off. Bye. Thank you, everyone. Thank you, everyone.